What's up, YouTube fam? This is Denny Chow here. Um, it's been a while since I posted some videos, but i um, been busy. Uh, me and Nikki just had a baby. I'm editing a video together probably in the next couple weeks or months uh, through that journey. Uh, but right now, I just wanted to maybe start a new series on my trading, uh, stock trading. And I just wanted to share today a quick um, trading 101, like what it is. Excuse the background, it's my <clears throat> kind of spare room and it's kind of messy in here. But this is where I pretty much have my office. Um, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, so what is trading? So we know that a lot of people that trades are looking to profit in such a way. Um, I think trading 101 has to start with what is the market and what is it that we're trying to accomplish. Um, so this right here, let me just take you to a chart. Uh, real quick, this is the chart of the S&P 500. It's an ETF, uh, which is SPY, uh, but it's pretty much the S&P 500. Um, but anyway, so what this is, is just a chart is to allow you to see a visual on what's going on. And so one thing that I wish I would have learned when I first started is how to read charts and what does it all mean? You can, you, most people get complicated, you know, with what's going on with everything. Um, like what is these red candles? What are these bars down here? And everybody has different strategies and different indicators but just for mine is pretty simple I don't put too much into it because I like to be able to see it uh, very clearly uh, but pretty much uh, I wish I knew how to read charts what um, number one is support and resistant and so um, the, the reason why I don't just buy stocks based off of fundamentals and what the fundamentals are, are just how their earnings are doing, their revenue, uh, their future forecasts, because those allow you to buy a good company, but what is your risk? So this is, uh, let's look at Amazon, for example. We all know Amazon is a killer company. It is awesome. Uh, you know, overall in the next probably 10, 15 years, they'll do great. But where do you buy? Where do you, like, how do you know that you didn't buy right here and then you sold right here? Or, you know, how do you know? And um, so one thing I, I wish I knew was these technical levels of where supply and demand is. So what a support is, is let me get a tool out. Uh, what a support is, is just pretty much where you see people buying, where something is supporting it. Uh, for example, this right here. Right here, you can tell that there is definitely some type of support because of, of this right here. Every time it hits these levels, it gets bought up. I mean, it did push through. And one thing is it's not precise on the dollar. Overall, it's just a general um, idea of where people are buying. And as it's hitting these prices, it's getting bought up, it's hitting it, it gets bought up, and eventually it hits a certain price and people see value and it goes up. And so one thing about support is that you're able to um, analyze your risk. You know that you want to buy in these areas and maybe have a stop loss of somewhere down here. I mean, I can go into detail later, but that's just something really general that people need to learn is that there is support areas where people are buying. These are volumes of people buying into it uh, and people selling it. And so this right here, I like Amazon, but where do I buy? You can look for places like this to buy. Of course, Amazon's getting killed today, but um, vice versa. What is resistant? So resistant is the opposite, where people are looking to sell, where they don't see the value of something anymore. Uh, for example, um, let's look at right here. You have it hit, hit, and what do you notice? That every time it hits this price level, about 1780, 1700, uh, 1780, 
that you get these rejections up top. So you know that if you like a company and you're able to look and find resistant, you don't want to buy up in these areas because if you buy, you're probably going to, you know, it probably go down, which I mean, you're going to hold, but why wouldn't you buy at areas where you see more, uh, you know, risk management and more beneficial for you? Uh, but yeah, so this is just a quick video. Uh, I don't know really what I'm going to do with this. I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, I'll try to make more videos. Uh, if you're interested, leave me a thumbs up and just let me know or comment if you want to learn more stuff. Uh, I've been trading for two, almost a year and a half, two years now. Hopefully in the next two years I can go full time. But I'm learning more and more about it. It's always a learning process and I love it. I love trading and everything around it. So um, yeah, if you guys like it, leave me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys next time. I want to welcome you to my channel and again if you haven't click that subscribe button on the bottom and you can follow me click that bell then you get the notification whenever time I upload videos and I like to thank you and welcome to my channel Tell me I'm the only one that you love Life could be a dream, sweetheart Hello